does it seem to you that life is just uh, falling apart, that our whole world is just exploding? I mean, you, you hear about volcanoes, you hear about tornadoes. Seems like every night when I turn on the news, it's a new storm system, a new storm system, and rain and floods and drought and just everything is an extreme. Everything is extreme. That is not God's plan for your life. He does not want you to live on the extremes. He wants you to live on the straight and narrow and have a firm foundation that will not be shaken by time and storms and, and the things of life that, that tear us apart. Uh, I, I have been to a place called Petra. Petra. It's down in, the, down in the desert of Jordan. And if you go down there, I was down there one time really, really late. It's so quiet. It's so dead. But at one time, this was the center of car- commerce. All the camel caravans came by there, and there was trading. There was, there was all kinds of uh, economic activity. But, but the people of Petra made a fatal, fatal, fatal mistake. They went against God's plan for God's people. You see, the people in Petra were descendants of Esau, the brother of Jacob, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. And the people of Petra were the people that they were related to the Jewish nation, which was up in what we know as Canaan or Palestine. It's not too far from where they are right now. And when the enemy came, the Babylonians especially came, and they destroyed and ransacked Jerusalem, what ended up happening, the people of Petra, because of their hatred for the Jews, I want you to listen to this, their hatred for the Jews. I didn't make this up. This is the word of God. Because of their hatred for the Jews, the people of Petra uh, cheered when the babies were killed in Jerusalem. They cheered when the young men were taken off into captivity. They cheered when the Jewish people were raped and pillaged. They cheered when the city of God, Jerusalem, was torn down and razed. They cheered and had a great, great time and just loved it, loved it, loved it. Brilliant engineers, brilliant engineers, brilliant bankers. They had it all, but they went against God in that they cheered the misery of God's people, the descendants of Jacob. And so what what does the Bible say? It's in Obadiah chapter one. Obadiah is one of those, there's not but one chapter. He, He didn't preach many sermons, but this is what he preached. On Mount Zion, there will be those who escape and it will be holy and the house of Jacob will possess their possessions. In other words, what's going to happen? There's going to come a time where Petra is going to fall. Those who live in the cliffs are going to fall. They're going to be destroyed. But the house of Jerusalem will be rebuilt, and it was, and then it was destroyed, and then it was rebuilt, and then it was destroyed, and then it was rebuilt, and then it was destroyed. And now in our lifetime, beginning in really in the the early 1900s, it has now, as the Jews are coming back to that nation, to prepare a place for Messiah to come, where Messiah will rule for a thousand years. And regardless, regardless of what you think about that, you can be a part of that. But you can't be a part of that by hating people. You can't be a part of that by wanting people to suffer. You can't be a part of that by inflicting pain. You've got to be a part of that by praying to God Almighty. Just submit yourself. You say, but you don't understand what those people did to me. Well, I know what people have done to me and everybody else. But right now, just get as close to God as you can get. And now let in the church of the living God, let's start encouraging people and loving people and quit this malicious backbiting that, that plagues every denomination in the world. We are not like that. Listen, we're not here to win an argument because when we win an argument, we offend somebody. We have to put them down. But we're not here to win an argument. We're here to encourage one another, to equip one another, and help each other. In other words, you have something I don't have. I have something you don't have. But if we come together, we both will be complete in Jesus Christ. So you pray for me, and I will preach to you. If I do well, you'll do well. If you do well, 
I'll do well. And as you're blessed, I will be blessed. And as I'm blessed, you will be blessed. So let's just let this right now, let's get a new vision of who we are. And let's don't be like the people of Petra, destined for judgment and oblivion. But let's be the, like the people of God who had their hope in Jesus Christ and have built a kingdom that will last forever and forever. God bless you, and I hope you get into the Word, and we have a great time in Jesus Christ.